You know what? We have a long wait until the next uh, meaningful football game kicks off, and I'm just killing time until that season, until that day arrives here. So let us begin our new segment here, Killing Time Until the Season Starts with Shaq, our guest this week, the great Kyle Long of the Chicago Bears. What, what's what's the story? Because everybody seems to he's I don't think there's anybody who hasn't gotten in any real trouble in life. You yeah, know, Cutler. But man, he gets a lot of scorn from Football America because of the way his face sits. Right? It's I mean it's as simple as that. It's yeah. He doesn't smile or he doesn't get he doesn't yell at people or anything. So people feel him. I'd feel say him. he's always thinking. He's always calculating. Uh, it's like what was the movie with Ben Stiller where he's uh, you know everything is like risk. Uh, where he has everything lined up for the risk, and you know, don't do that. That's you know. Wait, is that a long call? Is that a long came Polly? Uh, is it a long came Polly? I don't remember. I, I was but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I do. So basically, Jay's one of those super smart people that is at all times thinking and evaluating situations. And whereas you know, I, I don't stop to think. Sometimes I just talk. Uh, he can stop and be kind of pensive sometimes, and people take that as you know off-putting. Uh, I don't think people are used to a guy as cerebral as Jay in a football huddle. Um, he's one of my best friends. Uh, he's somebody that I trust, but at the same time, you got to get to know Jay. He doesn't have a Twitter account or Instagram, so people don't have that human connection with him. They just see him on the field. He seems to, he strikes me as a sneaky, funny guy. Drew. Very funny, very funny. Uh, snarky. Um, and kind of curmudgeon-y at times, but in like a funny, like mm -hmm. old man kind of way. Uh, you know, I thought the guy hated me my rookie year, but turns out he really likes me, and that's just his way of endearing himself to me. What do you think about Thrones? Who's going to get the uh, <coughs> the Iron Throne when it's all said and done? You know, I'm not going to put any uh, spoilers out there as to what's going on in the new seasons so far, but I will say that it's taken some turns that uh, I really didn't see coming. I'd say. Uh, Brand Stark probably has some some uh, you know some skin in the game here, mm -hmm. but it's gonna be interesting to see what happens with uh, and our Arya buddy, is John the daredevil Snow. now. All yeah, of a sudden. and and she's she's got to learn how to fight again. That's all I'm gonna say. She's gonna learn how to well, fight again. Well, that's Daredevil. That's his story. They just they, they took that straight out of the Marvel. Me and Color, me and Color were watching that the other uh, the other night. Is that true? Yeah. We, this is so you and Jay Cutler get together to watch Thrones. We have pizza and rotisserie chicken and Game of Thrones night. The, just the two of you. Yeah. Cutler says goodbye to the family. Well, he I'm puts them to bed, the, you know, because right, right. he's got small ones, so they go to bed and. I'll be over Kyle Long in a minute. I'm gonna swing by the pizzeria and the chicken place. Yeah, chicken I actually and went to pizza. Whole Foods and swiped their ready-made pizza because I I didn't plan ahead and like call the pizza in. I love that. Story. And they were kind of like snotty about the fact that I took the whole pie. I was like. Can I take the whole pie? He's like eighteen dollars. I was like, gosh, Whole Foods, man. I don't know if I'm coming back. In Chicago, they, 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 you don't do whatever you please. I mean, I mean, the guy just wanted to get off and go home. I think. I think you just ended his night early. All right, now the pizza's gone. There's nothing more. Yeah. Hang up. See you tomorrow, customers. Right? Yeah. <laughs>